In this topic, I am going to talk about rainfall and the different types of rainfall. When the air in the atmosphere becomes saturated, the excess water in the atmosphere starts falling to the earth's surface in the form of water droplets, which is called rainfall. The size of water droplets that gets formed by the process of condensation in the atmosphere is extremely small, which keeps on joining with each other and uh, as a result, its size in the atmosphere continues to become bigger and bigger. And when the size of the water droplets becomes so big and heavy that it cannot resist the force of gravity, it starts falling down from the atmosphere towards the earth's surface. This happens when the air becomes completely saturated and any excess of moisture present in the atmosphere starts falling towards the earth's surface which is called precipitation. When the precipitation is in the form of water droplets, it is called rainfall. Rainfall can be mainly of three types. On the basis of origin, it can be identified as convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall, which is also called relief rainfall, and cyclonic rainfall or frontal rainfall. Rainfall that occurs in the equatorial region is convectional rainfall. This type of rainfall is common in the tropical region and in the inner part of the continents. In the equatorial region, because of high temperature, convection current develops in the atmosphere. As a result, the hot and humid air rises and expands and cools down as it ascends or rises in the atmosphere. This leads to the condensation of water particles or it may be said conversion of water vapor into water droplets starts taking place in the atmosphere because of the rise of, of air in the atmosphere which ultimately leads to formation of clouds and subsequent rainfall. This type of rainfall is normally seen in the equatorial and tropical region of the world. In the equatorial region, during the daytime, due to high temperature, evaporation is high and convection current develops in the atmosphere, leading to vertical ascent or rise of the hot and humid air. In the afternoon, clouds form and rainfall takes place. The air on being heated becomes light and rises up in convection current. As the air rises, it expands and loses heat and cools down. As a result, condensation takes place leading to the formation of cumulus clouds. Heavy rainfall takes place accompanied with thunder and lightning. Such type of rainfall is common in the summer season and in the equatorial regions and also in the interior part of the continents. Another type of rainfall is orographic rainfall, which occurs because of presence of some barrier or orographic barrier in the path of the wind, which forces the wind to rise high leading to subsequent condensation and rainfall on the windward side of the mountain. In this type of rainfall, the windward side or the side of the mountain which faces the wind receive higher rainfall. But when the wind crosses the mountain and descend downhill on the other side of the mountain, the winds become dry and hot and also as the moisture is less, very little rainfall takes place. The area situated on the leeward side of the mountain, which gets less rainfall, is known as rain shadow region. Orographic rainfall is also called relief rainfall because 
This rainfall occurs basically because of presence of some land barrier or the topography of the region plays an important role in the occurrence of this type of rainfall. Cyclonic rainfall is another type of rainfall. It is a weather phenomenon which is characterized by heavy precipitation resulting from convergence of moist air towards a low pressure center and is typically associated with cyclones or tropical storms. As warm moist air circulates or spirals inwards, it rises, cools and condenses forming clouds which eventually leads to rainfall. Cyclonic rainfall is also called frontal rainfall as when two different types of air mass, cold and warm air mass, moves towards each other, it leads to cyclonic circulation, forcing the warm air to rise high, leading to condensation and subsequent rainfall. So, rainfall is mainly of three types, convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall.